Whiskey Jason here, whiskey from the viewpoint of an American over here in Germany tasting rare and exotic whiskeys. Today I have something from Rebel. No longer Rebel Yell, that is politically incorrect, therefore you Rebel. Hand-picked from extraordinary barrels, distiller's collection, wheated, defiantly smooth. Kentucky Bourbon Straight Whiskey. Here it says Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. All right, very, very good. Now this was hand-selected by Kamat Kirsch. Who is Kamat Kirsch? Kamat Kirsch is the German distributor for one of the three German distributors for Lexro, or as I used to call them, Lexco. So now this is actually barrel number, um, Wow, I wrote it down. Uh, 763336. Uh, all of these, the distillers collections have 56.5% ABV. And we have here um, proof 113 for you in America. They can't calculate. And this was actually um, distilled, or at least um, barreled here on the day of uh, 28th of February, 2017. So it's definitely four years old. I don't think it's five years old. I don't think it made it over here to Germany within one month. So it's going to be almost five-year-old whiskey here. Now, the label says, and this is the most important part, distilled and aged in Kentucky for Lex Road Distillers in Bardstown, Kentucky. So they did not distill it themselves. It was distilled for Lex Road. So this is Heaven Hill juice. Larceny, um, the same thing they have there. This could also be um, Old Fritz Gerald, something very similar, and so on and so on. So um, what's, what Lex Road did not do perfectly, in my opinion, is wait long enough for this. Could have been better. This is a weeded bourbon for all those out here that don't know what the difference is between a normal bourbon and a weeded bourbon. We have to have in America uh, with bourbon basically two important factors. Yeah, there's more new charred oak barrels or containers and 51% minimum of corn. What the rest is made out of consists of doesn't matter. Has to be a grain. And so most of the distillers in the US name take rye and malted barley. Malted barley for the enzymes, rye for the spicy taste. Now, some of them don't. Pappy Van Winkle, Weller, those are from Buffalo Trace, Larceny, Old Fritz Gerald are from Heaven Hill, and we have, for example, Maker's Mark. I enjoy the Maker's 646, love it. It's a weeded bourbon. So, this is basically made by Heaven Hill for Rebel. Soon and very soon, we'll be getting um, Rebel's Lex Rose own juice. Looking forward to that and seeing how it turns out. What am I going to compare it to? I'm going to compare it to something which I really, really enjoyed. This is a single barrel for Europe. This is Berry Brothers and Rudd, and this is from Arkansas. This is Rock Town Distillery. We're at 55.8. I can now buy this bottle for about 100 euros over here. It originally started at 139, and now it's made its way up to 100 euro, down to 100 euros. This, by the way, is 59.90. So we're talking about almost double the price. Originally, it was double the price. Is it double the taste? Let's find out. Now, Rocktown is not the perfect distillery for me, usually, at least in the past, but this thing blew me away. This was fantastic. This was the best wheated um, bourbon I've had for a very, very long time. All right, so let's try them on the nose. I'm going to go over here to Rocktown first of all. Happy Jason. We have the caramel. We have the pecans. We have the leather. We have the um, brown sugar. We have everything that makes a um, weeded bourbon fantastic, especially at this age. Over here, the rebel. Eh. There is a sweetness, there is the brown sugar, but there's something green. It's like a young bourbon note. It's like green oak that's not yet um, where it should be. Now, my question of the day, maybe someone else can answer this. What type of barrels are they using from Heaven Hill slash um, for Rebel? I just had the feeling as if these were not air-dried casks. I had the feeling that these were kiln-dried casks. Fast, 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 cheap, cheap, cheap. 
and that they were actually um, kiln drying and a little bit of that green sappiness of the wood was in here. Oh, by the way, we don't even have a supply chain shortage. We have a glass shortage at the moment and we have a barrel shortage. One of the main reasons for the barrel shortage is, of course, all the distilleries have expanded, but have all the cooperages expanded the same amount? No, because you would have to actually think about this. I cut down a tree. I cut it down into the staves. I let these staves air dry outside for 18 months usually, if they're great for America, for ISC, Independent Safe Company, and then I make a, a barrel out of it. So it's about a two year process before that barrel is made between cutting down the tree and putting that barrel in the distillery. So two years ago, the um, Cooperages should have actually ramped up their production of the wood that they needed because we, we knew, because of all the distillery expansions, think Buffalo Trace, think everyone else. Um, yeah. Even think of um, Wilderness Trail, think New Riff. They both have ramped up production so much. Um, Sagamore, ramped up production. All these guys need all these barrels. Wow, I just went off on a tangent that wasn't actually planned. Talking about barrels and talking about them. And don't forget, we need the Coopers as well to make those barrels. All right, so let's try this. Um, as I mentioned here, we are at our 56.5%. So it's not a very low proof bourbon. It's a higher proof. All of the distillers collections are exactly the same proof. They water them down, make them exactly like that. And you find a lot of hand-picked things, um, store picks in the U.S., so I'm very, very thankful that we in Germany got a store pick for all of Germany. So I don't know how many bottles there are, 250, 200, 220, somewhere around that line. I just know that I have barrel number nothing. It's not on here. I only have the proof number. Hmm. All right. Very, very nice. Good. Cheers. A little bit of, a, of an off green of a cherry lollipop that's gone bad. <laughs> Doesn't sound good, does it? A little bit of wood that actually is a little bit off. A little bit of sappy, wet woodiness here. Cheers. Wow. It's almost like it's daggers claws biting into my tongue with the sharpness of the alcohol and then scratching along. <sighs> um, my This is the second video of the day. I've already done this once before. There's a peppery hotness to this that I just don't like. Um, Rebel has some interesting 10 years old. I wasn't amazed by that either. I don't know what they're doing, but it's not actually what I like. There is some stinging heat here. It's almost like a type of a chili pepper type of cinnamon type of, um, it's a pepperiness. I think I learned it's pepperine. And then our peppers have a different type. Um, it's, a, it's a ginger type of hotness here. Um, burnt caramel. A little untamed. There's not, there's a little bit of acetone going on here. A little like fingernail, finger, fingernail, that was German. Fingernail polish remover. Um, bitter oak, peanuts, I don't know, and a tiny little bit of, of, um, of sweetness. What's missing is the astringency. Here I get astringency, I'll show you in a moment. Um, here I just get a little bit of oak bitterness. Uh, for 60 euros, this is going to be a D whiskey and a um, F whiskey for the value for money. I would not be willing to pay 60 euros ever again for this. I'm taking it down to about 48 to 50 percent. Interesting enough, the nose gets a little bit sweeter, but there's a little bit of like a um, sweaty, worn leather moment that comes out. Over here we have some leather bags as teachers use all the time. I teach English. I'm at schools and so on, universities, and it a little bit like it's been a little bit burnt, burnt caramel again. Mm. This whiskey 
goes like this. This whiskey goes, eh. And I disapprove when a whiskey actually gets worse towards the end. Heartburn a little bit. It's not, eh. Uh, it's got a little bit of a, of a red berry moment of berries that are too young and have already spoiled. Don't know where that came from, but that's what I'm getting at. All right. The Arkansas uh, Rocktown Single Barrel here for Berry Brothers and Rudd. I like this a lot. Uh, when I did my original video, I didn't even know it was a weeded whiskey. If I read here, it says here, um, doo -doo 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 -doo. this is one of Red um, Rocktown's weeded bourbons. Hmm. Balconis is a weeded bourbon, by the way, yeah? Rocktown, wheated bourbon, beautiful stuff. Lone Elm, wheated bourbon. So, what other wheated bourbons do you know of that I have not mentioned? I've mentioned Larceny, Fritz, Old Fitzgerald, um, Pappy, Weller, Rebel, Rocktown, and Balconis. What other wheated whiskeys can you recommend? Maker's Mark, anything from Maker's Mark is also wheated. What other wheated whiskeys can you recommend or can you mention? Please tell me, I'm really interested. Oh, KO Distilling has a wheated. Wilderness Trail has a wheated. Hmm. Hmm. Pecan, caramel, brown sugar, leather. Oh, yeah. A tiny little bit of astringency, that oakiness is there, but it doesn't matter. A little bit of the heat is there from the alcohol, doesn't matter. Um, but that just, that just, oh, that brown sugar moment with the pecan pie just kicks in and really, really good stuff. Love this, love this. All right, this is a D, as I said, um, D plus for taste, and it's, a, for me in my book, D minus. Um, let's go for D minor. F is a little bit too strong, too strong. A D minus for the value for money. I'm not willing to pay 60 euros again for this. If you can find a 30 to $40 product here and you can taste the barrel before you buy it, at some stores in some states and in some countries it's possible, do it and then decide. If I had 30, 40 dollars, I would buy a rare breed from Wild Turkey or something else for that matter, all right? So um, even a Knob Creek, which I pref don't prefer, but I prefer that better. This would be actually, I don't know if you can get this for 40 dollars. They changed the bottle. I love this beautiful, beautiful bottle here. Um, this would be the thing I'd go for instead. Just love the Makers 46. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. 99 euros used to be 130 euros, so double the price, more than double the taste experience, good stuff. All right, thank you very much for watching, liking, subscribing, telling others, and also sharing this video if you be so kind. Whiskey Jason over here in Germany tasting a rare single barrel for Germany, for Kamakirsch, our importer over here. I'm looking forward to trying. My, my goal in 2020 is to help Germany realize that bourbon and rye whiskeys are great. Make bourbon and rye whiskey here in Germany more well known. That's my goal. All right, and I'm trying to do that by having um, being at whiskey fairs with a with a U.S. whiskey booth there, just promoting U.S. whiskey. I want to be the ambassador for U.S. whiskeys in Germany. And if someone wants to support me in doing that, contact me. Yeah, I'm gonna be doing that more and more here for this country as well. Thank you very much. All the best. See you soon. Bye bye.